Welcome to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. In your township, in your, your municipality, are your taxes too high? Government too big? What do you hear what they're doing in Ocean Township in Monmouth County? Joining me now is the new mayor of Ocean Township, Chris Siciliano, uh, who was just sworn in this year, right? January 1st, yep. January 1st, and there was a longtime mayor before you. Yes, Bill Larkin served for 12 years as mayor before me and 12 years as council. So he had about 24 years of service, the longest serving mayor or council person in Ocean Township. And you were deputy mayor, and after you were sworn in, uh, you seem to hit the ground running. I, I will say this, and the thing that I'm impressed about by reading about what you've done, there are a lot of politicians, a lot of politicians, that talk about lowering taxes and reducing the size of government, and then never do it. Right. You did it almost immediately. Yeah, talk is cheap, and it's easy to say that, but to actually do it, I'm a hands-on kind of guy. Uh, Bill was a great mentor, and he's taught me a lot. But he was more of like, things were running pretty good, so let's leave it alone, let's not touch it. So this program came up as far as Own Ocean is what I call it, and it's a property tax rebate program. And it's designed to give both merchants a little more business and the taxpayers an opportunity to reduce their property tax in a unique way. Why not eat your way to lower property tax or shop your way to lower property tax as opposed to sitting there trying to scratch out, how am I going to do this? When I heard about your program, it, it's almost like one of those cash back programs. It's like when you, you the credit cards have that program where you go and you get cash back for spending your credit card. Yeah, exactly. It's similar to that. And folks will receive in the mail with their July tax bill, they're going to get a credit card. It looks like a credit card. It's going to be the Own Ocean card. On the back has a magnetic strip. On that magnetic strip has their lot and block number etched into it. So they'll use that. Every time they use it at a participating merchant, they swipe the card. And instead of getting an instant credit, say 10% off your, your dinner bill here, the 10% will be applied towards your property tax. It's locked right into our tax department. So that terminal's tied into our tax department. So the credit goes directly there. At the end of the year, it adds up. So today they may go to dinner, they'll get a 10% credit. Tomorrow, pick up your dry cleaning, you get a credit there. Maybe go get a haircut, get your car serviced, et cetera, et cetera. Because I have merchants from all over adding on to this program. So it's great. You have an opportunity to really shop your way through the town, use it locally. They have more business. You have an opportunity to really reduce your taxes. So in a given week, maybe you reduce your taxes by $17 in credits this week, 21 next week. At the end of the year, it adds up. It could be four or five hundred, six hundred dollars depends on how much you could be over a thousand as, you, as you're adding up. Yeah, dollars. as you're adding up the the amount and the local businesses love you because what you're doing is giving an incentive to stay in Ocean Township and shop. You know what, Larry? They spend a lot of money trying to get you in their door. Two for Tuesday, half price Wednesday, uh, Friday night pizza, this and that, or Valpak or all these other outlets trying to get you to come in. Here, we're going to advertise them. They'll be on our website. We put them on almost everything. We have a couple of billboards around town, participating merchants in the Own Ocean program. So we give them all the play we can, free, basically. And we're going to get more foot traffic in. They're going to retain that customer also just by offering that credit. So every shop owner will have a decal on the door. We participate in the Own Ocean program. It's a beautiful thing. It's a win-win for everybody. I haven't heard about this before. I mean, I haven't heard about this happening anywhere else. Have you? Yes. It's rare. Not many towns have it. In fact, I'm going to be honest with you. I stole it from my friend up in Marlboro, the mayor there, John Hornick. So he's had it for a couple of years in place. And we looked at it back when he first went on. We said, let's see how it works out. Let's, it's new. The first year that John rolled it out, the business owners increased their revenue by $600,000. The second year, they increased by a million and they returned $64,000 in tax credits to the taxpayers. That's real money. Yeah, I, I, I guess I'm trying to figure out why this isn't catching on like wildfire. I mean, it Tell seems everybody. like a no-brainer. I mean, to me, it sounds like such a great idea, and congratulations to you for doing it, and I'm sure the people of Ocean Township appreciate it, but I don't understand why... I guess it, I guess the, the the answer is in the question because I had just heard about it. So I, but you you can see this now spreading. There's a little work involved. I'll say that uh, I'm a natural salesman. I'm the best salesman the town ever had. So I have to actually go out and sell the program to the merchant because when they first hear about it, like, well, what's the hook? What do I have to do to get involved? And really nothing. They're funding it by a discount that they're going to give anyway. Oh, it's it's brilliant. But that's not the only thing. I mean, there's other there's other stuff to talk about. Um, you announced that municipal taxes will be going down? Yes, this year we actually have a flat tax. So we're actually having about a slight decrease this year in the municipal tax rate. And the way we did that was, I was on deputy mayor for four years. 
So policies we put in place several years ago are now paying dividends today. So, for instance, we went to automated garbage several years ago. So there's capital outlay, getting the equipment, et cetera. Now that's all paid off and realized, all we're having is savings. That saved the town $450,000 a year by itself. Not counting workman comps claims that we don't deal with anymore. Uh, you know, by attrition, we lost about 22 folks in that department itself. No pink slips, just by attrition. They retired, we didn't have to replace them, right, because we have the automated service now. Uh, additionally to that, we also have the um, mergers that we have. I'm going to say not mergers. I'm going to say we're doing the um, shared services with other towns. So we took in West Long Branch Court. That brought us $131,000 a year. We do 911 dispatch for Eatontown, $25,000. So thinking outside the box, looking for ideas like that, revenue streams, et cetera, that helps control taxes. When you do that, when you go through programs like this, it, it makes the government a little bit smaller. Yes, right? you reduce government and you save money. But people lose their jobs? No, no, by attrition only. Ocean Township hasn't put out any pink slips. We haven't really let anybody go. As they retired, we didn't have to replace them. Well, that, it's, it's good because my, the, one of the things I always look at with governments, municipal, state governments, uh, federal government, when times are tough, there's never any layoffs there. Everybody else gets laid off. There's never any layoffs there. Only taxes go up so they can hire more. So it's, it's good to see that you were able to do it through attrition and that you were to bring things down. Uh, were you just sitting as deputy mayor plotting all this? You could say that, not really plotting. We, had, we dealt a uh, storm the last few years, and I guess a lot of other municipalities did too. We had a lot of tax appeals that we were dealing with. Uh, we had loss of interest income. So there was other things that we were combating. So we really couldn't implement new programs at the time. So the ones that we could do, such as the automated garbage, et cetera, that was coming into play. But yes, I'd say a year out, I was plotting, hey, you know, I think the bill's going to retire. When he does, what am I going to do? Well, I got a plan. Here's what I'd like to do. And like I said, I'm hands on. So day one was I put cameras in the meeting room so folks could see what we're voting on, what we're doing there. I have the sessions called Coffee with the Mayor, which is this afternoon and Monday afternoon. So we do that, and folks would come in one-on-one, -on -one, sit with me, and discuss any problems they have. Just, to, just so people know, this is being taped on a Friday. So it's I know. Friday. I guess <laughs> this is Friday afternoon, folks. I am here right now doing my <laughs> Coffee with the Mayor session. Uh, but they do. They come in all the time. In fact, I had to kick them out of the office today just to come here <laughs> and tape the program. Well, that's great. Are, are you, you know, the fact that you're doing all this so quickly, again, and we want to point out to people that you were just sworn in in January, are you looking at another spot already? Are you looking for a higher No, office? no, no other ambitions. I love my town. I grew up in this town. I want to serve the town. I have, this is, I have no agenda. I'm not looking to go to Freeholder or Assembly or Congress or anything like that. Really, this is probably the last stop as political for me. And we're not really a political town. I look at it as service. Kind of like as a Rotarian, it's service above self. What can you give back to your town? See how cynical I am about politicians. I just assumed I you were going. I'm, my mother's the same way. Don't worry, Larry, I get it. <laughs> it was great to meet yeah, you. Great, you. And too. congratulations on all you've done there. Wonderful job. Chris Siciliano, mayor of Ocean Township, New Jersey, who is actually reducing taxes did you promise that, by the way? Promise. So you came through with a promise. Jersey Matters continues after this.